The Green Blazer Above the babble of the market and the mass of shirts, turbans and multicolored saris, the Green Blazer cried out an invitation to Raju. Raju, who had just the energy to watch a crowd and put his hand into another person's pocket, sometimes got nothing. When he got lucky, he took the cash and flung the purse away. When he got too much cash, he had to hide it. Otherwise, his wife asked too many questions. Raju followed the green blazer three steps behind, a calculated distance acquired by intuition and practice. The green blazer took out his purse to pay the coconut seller after drinking its water. He had a thick sawing voice like the growl of a tiger. His haggling showed a petty temperament. The green blazer next bought a balloon after another endless argument. He said, This is for a motherless boy. I have promised it to him. Raju got his chance at last. The purse contained 30 rupees and a few annas. Must give the annas to some beggars. He reflected generously. The 30 rupees he bundled into his turban. He could lead a clean life for a fortnight and take his wife and children to a picture. Then he saw the balloon tucked in the flap of the purse. He pictured the motherless one waiting for the promised balloon and this groveling man feeling for his purse. Raju almost sobbed at the painful thought. The green blazer did not look like one who knew the language of children. Raju was filled with pity for the young child, perhaps of the same age as his second son. Suppose his wife were dead. Personally, it might make things easier for him. He need not conceal his cash under the roof. He overcame this thought as an unworthy side issue. Raju located the green blazer. He would slip the purse with the balloon only into his pocket. The green blazer caught hold of his arm and cried, Big pocket! The crowd badgered him. Raju kept saying, I was only trying to put back the purse. Everyone laughed. It became a stock joke in the police world. He served his term of 18 months and came back into the world.